Quantitative Risk Assessment The Texas City refinery explosion occurred on March 23, 2005, when a hydrocarbon vapor cloud exploded at the ISOM isomerization process unit at BP's Texas City refinery in Texas City, Texas, killing 15 workers and injuring more than 170 others. The Texas City refinery was the second largest oil refinery in the state and the third largest in the United States with an input capacity of 437,000 barrels. BP's own accident investigation report stated that the direct cause of the accident was heavier than air hydrocarbon vapors combusting after coming into contact with an ignition source probably a running vehicle engine. The hydrocarbons originated from liquid overflow from the F-20 blowdown stack following the operation of the raffinate splitter overpressure protection system caused by overfilling and overheating of the tower contents. In the video you just witnessed, most of the fatalities were the people in trailers sited near the ISOM unit. If QRA had been performed and the output taken into account for sighting of the trailers, the damage would have been limited. What is meant by QRA? Let us understand some basics. Quantitative Risk Assessment QRA, is a valuable tool for determining the risk of the use, handling, transport and storage of dangerous substances. QRAs are used to demonstrate the risk associated with the facility and to provide the competent authorities with relevant information to enable decisions on the acceptability of risk related to developments on site or around the establishment or transport route. QRA is a method for calculating individual, environmental, employee and public risk levels for mitigation and for comparison with regulatory risk criteria. Risk is usually considered as a combination of severity and likelihood, and QRA studies consists of two parts, severity or consequence estimation and likelihood or frequency estimation. There may be high frequency, low consequence scenarios example dripping from valve and low frequency high consequence scenarios example rupture of storage tank